Most of what people believe about the origins of Antipolis, Antibes, is a result of interpreting texts. There were Etruscan artifacts found there, but much of Europe's history is clouded due to mythological imperialism, which was a whole industry that the Greeks employed to reinvent the origins of locations on the fringes of their region and imagine their founding by legendary Greek kings and the like. The following is an Etruscan amber pendant of a ship, with figures dated to the 600 to 575 BC. According to the description provided by the Getty, the ship of 76.A.0.76 has many earlier and contemporary comparisons in the archaeological remains and in the art of the ancient Mediterranean, especially among small three-dimensional representations in terracotta, bronze, and other materials, carved stone reliefs, Etruscan wall painting, and most particularly Greek vase painting. The subject also figures on coins and gems. The Etruscan shipwrecks at Giglio, Antibes, Marseilles, and Pisa offer extraordinary information about the actual vessels. Taken together, the corpus of ancient material allows a very particular knowledge of ships and ancient seafaring, even though in the images some elements of the ship's architecture may be telescoped, others expanded or otherwise exaggerated, while others may be disproportionately small or ignored entirely. S. Waxman, Seagoing Ships and Seamanship in the Bronze Age Levant, College Station, Texas, 1997, page 198. Vauvenargues, on Mont S. Victoire, is the site of a Roman fort where other Etruscan objects were found, which were also found at the mouth of the Rhone, close to Massalia. The Etruscans allegedly introduced winemaking into France. The following is an Etruscan wine press from La Terra, France. Here's what the Etruscan settlement, Lat Terra, looks like at the present day. There were Etruscan artifacts found at Vix, Côte d'Or, Burgundy, near the Celtic fortress of Mont Lassois. Etruscan objects were found at Gorge Milet, Marne, Haute Marne, northeast France, Mercy sur Saône, Canlige, and there were finds near the city tours. I've tried to find photos that I can share, but there isn't much on the internet despite the extensive private collections published in books that I don't have the rights to. That being said, the presence of Etrusco-Phoenicians, and subsequently the Romans, indicates we may find clues in the Armoric language about this ancient history. But that work must be done by more qualified people who understand the language. In the previous article, I highlighted a unique characteristic about the Armorican language I've never seen anywhere else. Despite this, the language is observably connected to Latin. Regarding the pronouns of this language, there are four, me signifies I, te is you, n is he, and he is she. Edward Lewid covers this in his Archaeologia Britannica, page 184. Lewid wrote, I be, pronouns possessive, such as ma, mine, de, thine, e, his, he, her, han, our, ho, your, o, there, as also p or pebes? What? Pet? How many? D.R.E. Benick, somebody, and C, are all undeclined, and of both genders and numbers. The interrogative pew, who, makes p heine in the plural number, and an heine, he that, makes a re or r. For those unfamiliar with the universal system, embark on the journey of spirit world and bring yourself to the tip of the spear in ancient cultural diffusion and knowledge of the mysteries. There will be some serious gravy on the other side involving the Isle of Man, Sicily, the Etruscans, the Greeks, as well as the Gamma Dion, Tetraskeel, and Triskeel. Become a member to access the rest of this article.